I will be reading from Mr. T. The Man with the Gold, an autobiography by Mr. T. So you want to meet Mr. T. Personal and up close. The Man with the Gold. Not just around his neck, but deep down in his heart. Well, this is my story about my life and I wrote it myself <laughs> without a ghostwriter because if I had had a ghostwriter, then the book would have become his story instead of my story. <laughs> I'm sure there will be other books about me. <laughs> but they won't tell it like it is. So here is the unadulterated truth told, written, and spoken in such terms that even a fool can understand what I'm talking about. <laughs> I remembered when I was called to come to Hollywood to audition for Rocky III. Over 1,500 black men were auditioned for the part in Rocky III. Boxers, football players, actors, and some bums. <laughs> but I wanted the part the most. I received a seven-page script to study in three days. As <laughs> Soon as I got the script, I went to work on my acting ability. <laughs> I kept telling myself I could do it. I could play this part because this character, Clubber Lang, I had been him all my life. See, if you know me, it's easy to tell that Clubber is my make-believe twin and my real-life self. <laughs> anyway, I practiced for hours a day. I would wake up in the night hollering, I am Clubber and I want you, Rocky Balboa! Uh, plus, all the things that Clubber says are exactly what Mr. T would say. Like, I'll bust you up. <laughs> Or, I will break your arm in six places. You see, that's the way I am all day long. Well, it was time for me to do my thing in front of the cameras. It was my big day. I'll be honest with you. I was a little nervous, a little tight, but I was ready. A young lady was there, and she read Rocky's part, and then I would come in with my part. <laughs> then Sly said, I want to do something. It's what we call improvisation. A lot of actors can't do this. There's no script. We just use our own words. You, you say what you want to, and I will do the same. <laughs> Sly stood back and said, whenever you're ready, T. When I heard the word action, I was doing my thing. <laughs> Sly was so impressed, he could hardly say cut, but he did. I received a call from the casting director, Mr. T. You got the part, and we're so proud of you. I want to leave a message to all you critics everywhere, all you non-believers, all you negative-minded individuals, all of you people who are rooting against me. I'll see you at the movies, <laughs> Mr. T. <laughs> <laughs>